headed to Alaska, if y'all didn't know. Um, well, of course you didn't know. It's the first time I'm talking, so. I'm headed to Philadelphia right now, man. I have a flight in the morning at 9 a.m. to Vegas, and then I go to Seattle, right? Once I leave Seattle, well, once I get to Seattle, I'll be boarding the boat off to Alaska. So, it's my first time in Alaska, man. I'll be working on the fishing boats. The, it's called a it's called a vessel, fishing vessel. So, um, man, I hope that is everything that I've, you know, that I'm thinking of, right? It's going to be mad long hours, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog, but I want to give y'all the ins and outs of what it's like to work over in Alaska on the boat, on the fishing vessels. Track six to the airport. I'm debating if I want to get a hotel tonight, man. I'm really debating if I want to get a hotel or just sleep at the hotel. I mean, at the airport, man. Um, kind of more towards leaning, staying at the airport, but I don't know. We'll see, man. I'm just, I'm just chilling right now, man. So. I guess I'll figure it out when I get there because one you know most of the airport hotels have shuttles so you know if I do decide to stay at a hotel or whatever then that's cool I'll be able to sleep well but then I'm looking at it like I can save a couple of dollars and just dug it out sleep on the plane first flight is five hours the next one's like two and a half I got a layover in Las Vegas for two and a half hours, so it's like, which one do I choose, you know? But at this point, man, I'm looking at it as like, you know what? Man, do what you feel like you want to do, man. That's how I look at it right now. It's like, just do what you want to do at this point. All right, y'all, so I made it to the airport, man. I did up the escalator on Terminal B. I honestly don't know what terminal's gonna be on, but I'm going up on anyway. That's if I'm, I'm gonna be here all night. We got the very idea, so I don't know. I'm gonna figure out if I wanna stay in one of these hotels or something. But I don't know, like I said, we'll see. Today is uh, January the 11th, 2023. Um, I got to my hotel last night. Um, remember when I told y'all, I said, you know, when I get to the hotel, see how everything, I mean, when I get to the airport and see how everything is, man, I decided if I want to go to a hotel. Well, I decided to come to a hotel because, um, for one, I still had some, uh, like a video that needed to be loaded, uh, that I did over the weekend. And I wanted to make sure that it was still going to load, uh, at the airport. I didn't have many spots to plug my phone. I mean, plug the laptop in and on top of just really being able to I'm not, I'm not saying be comfortable but sometimes I have to be uncomfortable to be comfortable but I had to get to this place uh to make sure that you know all my stuff is charged uh make sure that you know I, I kind of wanted to smell fresh too I wanted to be fresh because uh yesterday I mean I of course I took a shower but you know when you accumulate all a bunch of sweat and all that type of stuff like I was wearing two jackets and some other items and it just man I knew I was going to start to stink if I was to be sitting by beside some besides someone this morning and I'm gonna keep it all with you with y'all I, I forgot my deodorant so I got to buy some deodorant from somewhere uh probably at the airport you know airport stuff is so high but I need some deodorant because I don't want to be on that plane stinky five and a half hours and then i got a layover in like i said vegas for two and a half hours so to get to seattle so uh man i'm about to go to the airport my shuttle should be here at seven o'clock a.m so i have to make sure that i i'm downstairs for that at the 
airport. Um, I'm headed up to D6 is where I'm catching my flight at. Uh, Got to go through the checkout and everything. I mean, to the uh, security checkpoint and everything like that. So you got to empty everything out of your pockets, take off your jacket, take off your hat. Um, laptop goes in a separate uh, thing and then you push all your bags. So hopefully I get to show y'all that in a minute. All right, peace. Good everybody man i have made it to seattle and this is where i catch my boat for alaska tomorrow um actually waiting on the hotel shuttle to come right now said to be here within 10 to 15 minutes so i called about seven eight minutes ago so they should be pulling up soon i'm gonna relax tonight i gotta go to walmart or somewhere where i can get a couple of items that i need for the boat and we'll go from there Man, I am still out here in Seattle. I had an eventful day yesterday. I forgot to actually uh, vlog, but I ended up I ended up going to the mall. I had to go to Dollar Tree, grab a few items. I saw where Target and everything was, but I'm headed to Walmart right now. Um, the reason why I'm headed to Walmart is because Walmart is just a tad bit cheaper than Target when it comes to the items that I need. Cover was the main thing that I really needed or blanket should I say so that way I'd be able to be comfortable and uh, be able to you know have something that I can lay on right so as I'm headed to Walmart I'm it's raining out here right now it was raining last night as well but I took a nice little stroll everywhere from the mall to like Dollar Tree or whatever so that was a nice little walk. It had a nice little shopping center out there, out here in Seattle. Really nice place. I, uh, I'm headed to the bus right now. It's called the it's, uh, Bus 560, so that's what's gonna take me to Walmart. I got about a 20 minute walk, so I'm not gonna talk for long. So I'll, I'll tap in with y'all in a few, but I just wanted to give y'all a little update Especially since I didn't vlog yesterday while I was at the mall and everything. I wanted to show y'all the mall. It was two actually three stories. Three-story mall, really nice, clean, nice restaurants. I had a gyro and some fries yesterday, you know, because I like a little Indian in my life. So right now I'm gonna just show y'all a little bit of what's surrounding the airport. There's a lot of really hotels, so I'll just give y'all a little bit of where actually almost seven o'clock in the morning i'm in seattle washington we haven't went to alaska yet uh we are leaving on saturday so today is actually friday so tomorrow we'll be leaving out um i hope so and i'm not sure exactly what time um but here over here on the west coast man in seattle washington man uh i guess it really doesn't get daytime until almost 7 15 or 7 30 so right now i think the time is like 6 53 or so like that um 
I mean, it's a beautiful view out here. I mean, I'm actually on a boat right now. And I actually got on here yesterday. To, yesterday was raining. Uh, we signed our contract. We signed our, you know, uh, forms that we needed to fill out, you know, so that way we can start work. So as soon as I got here and filled out those contracts, it's like I immediately start, started work. So I couldn't do a, a, a video for y'all yesterday. I could have, but I didn't. Uh, and also i you know was making a few phone calls to people and things like that so i kind of was in the midst of being a little bit more busier than usual uh so i guess what i want to discuss today is that you know do whatever it is that you feel like you want to do i mean there's certain boundaries when you're you know maybe in a relationship or something like that that you might have to discuss with your spouse or if you're uh you know limited to funds you might have to figure out something that you can do to fund your dream so um basically me doing this is kind of really funding my dream and things that i wanted to do in life uh so there's there's going to be obstacles and, and 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 some courses that you have to go through but one thing that you have to realize is that you know trouble don't last always and if you're a determined person and you're a person that is consistent at what you do then you just have to make sure that you give your all and don't let anyone or anything get in your way. You can never fold. You got to make sure that you keep on moving, keep on thriving. Uh, a lot of times I kept, I've, you know, I found myself not being as consistent as I should. I know with making these videos and things like that, I might not be as consistent, but I recognize my faults and me recognizing my faults is giving me the opportunity to fix those faults that I have in my life. Uh, I may not pray as much as I should. I may not read as much as I should. I may not uh, do personal development as much as I should. But one thing that I realized, I recognize those faults. So that way I can improve on those, you know, on those faults that I have. Um, you already know, man, it's a beautiful day out here in Seattle, Washington. I am on the boat that I'm going to be filming on as well as working on uh, for the couple of months that I'm going to be here. Well, not a couple, but 90 days I'll be on this boat and I'll be getting some footage of different activities that's going on on the boat and off the boat if possible. Um, hopefully when we get over to Alaska, we'll be able to uh, get a chance to see how Alaska is, hopefully get time to get off and check it out. and. I'll be able to get some footage and some photos so that way you can see what it looks like out there in Alaska. I did get a little bit of footage out here while I'm in Seattle, Washington, but not as much as I would like to. I'm actually doing some things that's here on the dock right now. The dock has given me the opportunity to, uh, you know, just see things at a standstill at a point to where I'm here for a few days, which I was here since Wednesday, today's Saturday. So, uh, I got the opportunity to meet some good people. Hopefully I'll get some of these people on camera to be able to talk about the experience on the boat and also being off the boat as well. Uh, how long they've been doing this type of work and also uh, what they think about just life in general, living on a boat while working, fish processing. Secure, perfection, that's the way of the things.
time out to really just log and kind of get myself into a place of peace and comfort uh, with my mindset right so I had breakfast at 7 30 this morning ash browns fruit eggs um, and some tea water and some orange juice so that way I can for once stay hydrated and as well as just being able to eat properly man oh man so this boat experience is, is is fun for me you know being here out here on this water man it's just a great experience i'm really loving even though the boat is rocky i mean it's not as rocky as it, it, it you know as 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 of yet it's not that hard let's put it like that it's not it's not rocking that hard but there are things that are floating around inside of the uh cabins where we stay at and stuff but nothing too crazy yet uh so i just wanted to step out here and just give y'all a little view of how it looks this morning there's nothing around right now so we're really at sea like we are literally at sea i've never been out this far before uh so i've been fishing and things like that but never you know this type of fishing as you can tell, like the boat is rocking, <laughs> like it's really rocking. I'm loving this, man. This, uh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't wear my slides out here. It's water that's just getting all over the place. I mean, it's, it's water that's just floating around here. So I'm pretty sure the water was splashing on here last night as we were uh, coming uh, to work, uh, going towards Alaska. We're still not in Alaska yet. I think we have a few more days or so. But it's, like I said, man, it's a great experience, man. The, the the best part I like about this right now is even though we're not really working or doing anything, uh, we're still getting paid. So if we work like three hours or something like that, we still get paid for 12 hours, which is excellent. Or if we're not doing anything, we still get paid for it. So that's, that's a great thing. <laughs> Being sick on this boat, it's like stomach just not doing what it's supposed to. <laughs> really can't find the words for how much the guts don't stay together on a boat. They're just. <laughs> But it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. <laughs> so, so what? So what helps with it? Honestly, sleep, sleep, and then I'm been asking around, and hopefully, just get used to it. Just like adapt to it. That mental game, like, better be a fucking strong mental game, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So even when you was working yesterday, like we we did a little bit of work yesterday. Um, how were you feeling when you were working? 
I wasn't actually bad. Like it's, I was actually thinking maybe the lower you go, and I could completely ask backwards wrong. It almost felt easier down there than it did up here. Like maybe just because it's closer to the fucking water, but either way, I can tolerate that. <laughs> okay. All right. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So does um like eating help or no not eat, no eating? I haven't eaten anything today. I haven't eaten anything since lunch yesterday. Okay. But uh, honestly, like I'm I'm gonna try and eat something. Okay. Something small, like broth. I might have to wait till lunch, but we'll see what happens. All right. Well, I appreciate you for doing this for me, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs>
factory manager told us that we couldn't really go anywhere because uh, we were possibly leaving tonight to go out and uh, start retrieving fish. And I'm not sure how far we're going to be going out on the water. So uh, the next time we are working, it should be getting fish, um, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we do that and we can, you know, just get the moving, man. So we can start making our money that we what you know, we're supposed to be making. So um, I actually I did finally work. Uh, it's 16 hour days. Um, I didn't work the full 16 hours, but we still get paid for 16 hours, which is dope. But I'm ready to get those bonuses and things like that. So, you know, we have a higher paycheck. So we get bonuses off of every piece of the fish. Um, and depending on what type of fish we got and the grade of it and stuff like that, I mean, it's supposed to be pretty substantially high. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, man. <laughs> I mostly do my own stuff, but... <laughs> good everybody man i know it's been a minute since i talked to y'all man it's been a rough couple of weeks actually rough couple of days and whatnot um i've been down ever since y'all see me in the bed um like i've been sick but you know i'm not gonna say that i've been down i've been you know just catching up on sleep catching up on being relieved um i do have a foot injury right now um what happened was there's freezer plates that go so what I was doing was called freezer plates, right? And that has the mints, the fillets, the roll that go into the freezers. Um, so I had to stack those on the freezers neatly and eventually become frozen. So as I was picking up frozen ones from the line, um, I was, you know, putting them in the right place where they belong. But my partner ended up taking one of those freezer plates the frozen ones and tossing it but it ended up bouncing back on my ankle or my foot so i have a foot injury right now so um i got a little brace on it right now so that's i mean i haven't been working for almost a week now uh i'm supposed to be going to the clinic where i'm still out here on the water so i don't know when exactly exactly when we're going back to dutch harbor alaska so that way I can't go to the clinic to figure out what's wrong with my foot. I've been going to the purser, which is called really a, a nurse that's on here. 
Um, she can only do so much. There's no x-ray machines and things like that on here. So I can't really do too much, but um, I just wanted to give y'all an update, man. I'm supposed to be documenting everything that I do. Man, I know I've been slacking. When does, when does it come to a point to where I actually stay consistent in everything that I do? Uh, sometimes, you know, you get into a place to where, you know, you feel like you don't feel like doing something, but you just have to do it anyway. Uh, so I had to pick up the camera right now and just let y'all know, like y'all hear it in my voice right now, that I'm not actually myself, right? Be versus the other videos that you saw, you know, with me, with my real voice, my voice that is not tainted by, uh, you know, mucus and, you know, a sickness that I've been under for the past two weeks. Um, but let me just give you another update on this boat, man. We're on a second trip, man. Uh, we made, I made it past the, I made it past the first trip. The first trip was roughly about 11, 10 to 11 days. Um, also including the extra like two days that we had to offload the boxes, man. The, it was so full in there. As far as in the freezer, it was so full, man. Uh, so it took us, you know, a day and a half or so to get that all completed. And then we were headed back out to the fishing grounds within a day, a day and a half or so. Uh, for us to be able to get more fish. So on my second day is when it happened about my foot. Um, you know, I, as soon as he hit, as soon as it hit my foot, man, you know, I felt the impact. You know, I was like, ow, ow, ow. You know, I try to, you know, work past the pain a little bit, but then it just started getting more, you know, started pounding a little bit more. I'm not saying excruciating, but it was just to a point to where I just couldn't really move my foot too much without feeling that pain. So I went upstairs to the locker room and sat down for a while and then eventually they had me go to the doc the nurse I the doctor, excuse me went to the nurse and then you know she just basically gave me ice and like some pills and kind of you know really just keep the, the bruising down or whatever it may have you um any kind of to prevent any further pain i mean it was still painful because when i move it up and down really down kind of hurts more than anything so that's what I've been dealing with for the past, let me say, five, six days, man. And, uh, man, like I said, man, it's trip two. Um, I haven't really been eating much. I've been eating more, like, noodles and stuff like that. Today is, like, one of the first days that I really ate anything, that, like, heavy, which was pizza, uh, meat lover's pizza. Um, and I really, like, ate one and a half. I wasn't really feeling it. Um, other than that, man, um, I had a random drug test today, so I had to pee in a cup uh just to prove that you know i am negative and not using drugs or alcohol what you know whatnot um i did pass it um i um, with flying colors i mean i've been studying but uh yeah so uh yeah yeah at the end of the day man it's one of those days where um i'm just laying around chilling i'm about to get back on my computer so that way I can edit a little bit more of the documentary that, that I've been putting together. Um, well, that my wife and I put together. Um, really, she p did most of everything. Um, I did the recording and whatnot. Uh, it was really more her idea. So, um, sorry I'm saying um so much because uh, I wasn't really you know planning to make this video, but I still have to show some kind of consistency or whatever. I'm not sure how many days I, it'll be until we get to Dutch Harbor, Alaska because we're still on fishing grounds. Um, once they get done fishing and completed all the bags, still have to clean up, you know, things like that. So probably be another f five to six days, I believe. Uh, today's the 11th, I believe, of February. It's either the 11th or the 12th, I can't remember. So um, I haven't ate anything besides I had a little bag of chips, um, a leftover bag of chips that I had from a couple days ago and an orange. I haven't been wanting to eat too much. I mean, I ate pizza yesterday. I told y'all that in the video, but I'm not really not really hungry because I haven't been really burning any calories or anything. So I'm just chilling, man. I'm just going to do what I can do, man, as far as trying to show that I want to be here. And at the same time, you know, I also need to heal my foot to heal or whatever. But I mean, overall, I'm just going to relax kind of take it day by day and not really just you know right not really cry about anything man just do what i gotta do to you know get to that next level man
Thank you.